Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new around here, my name is Kazmira and I share all sorts of stuff, but a lot of beauty, a lot of um, sustainability, clothes, recipes, travel, all that good stuff. Um, so if you guys like those types of videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you guys are excited or as excited as me to see this clothing haul, then hit the like button um, so I can do more of these because it's so fun. But I am going to get on into it. I'm going to show you guys what everything, look at my, my hair is like standing up right here. I am going to show you guys everything um, just out of the box and then I'm going to try it all on, obviously. So this is all stuff that I ordered personally. If you guys are new around here or you maybe haven't watched any of my sustainability videos, you guys do know or don't that... I am really trying to be more thoughtful in my online shopping or shopping in general. Um, I am not on for online shopping. There are way too many options. So getting this stuff took me, no joke, like two weeks to pick out. I'm also just really bad at shopping oh, like normal, like every few weeks or however often people normally shop. I won't shop for like a full two or three months and then I'll get like everything I've been meaning to get in one time. So that's why this there's a few things quite a few things that I got um but anyways so it took me a long time to decide what I was going to get because I was just doing mad research on um the materials that things are made out of and what is the best um the best fabric to get that is still affordable because I can't buy everything organic cotton and linen and Honestly, there are a couple things that I got that are bad material and I just think life is about balance. My biggest thing is I just want you and myself to learn and continue to learn about slow fashion and just about where our fabric was or what the fabric is, where our products were made and our clothes were made and just to go from there. But um, I guess let's just get into it. That being said, I kind of... I started researching after I got these first two things that I'm going to show you. I started researching about materials and fabrics and what they even are. And after all my research, I decided that I really am not going to support polyester as much as I possibly can. So since then, I haven't bought anything polyester other than these two items, which I actually think are like nylon and spandex, which are also bad. But polyester is the worst along with nylon is pretty bad. So polyester is definitely the worst and I kind of just decided that I am not going to support polyester or buy it even if it's something, I don't know, unless it's something I truly cannot live without, which is probably nothing, then maybe I'll buy it. But my plan and goal is to really never buy anything polyester again. I have realized after learning all this and going through my closet that I do have polyester in my closet and it is what it is. It's society that we live in, but I think if we can all just make a little change by just not buying polyester, even though that's like one out of the 10 fabrics that are bad, it'll still make a really big change. So that being said, let's get into this. If you guys do want to see a whole video about slow fashion and fabric and just like what I've learned so far, then you can comment below and let me know. Um, I've been ranting for so long already, so I'm not going to continue to go down that train. Okay, so these are the two things that I truthfully love and the reason I decided to buy them, um, even though the fabrics weren't super great, is because I couldn't find a cut that was like this. So they look pretty small, but I actually was just wearing this one and it is so comfy. So this is called the Happiness Run, Happiness Run Crop, I think. Um, and I got an extra small small and they're both from free people. I will link everything down below But look at how cute that the fit is. It's like perfect because you don't have to wear a sports bra with it It can be your sports bra um, But you can also just like wear it to lounge around the house and they have a bunch of different colors So I'm very happy that I got two at a time because they are so comfy going with the comfy theme the next thing I got were these joggers I spilt foundation on them and tried to clean it because I was just wearing this and I failed so this is why we can't have nice things but just to ignore that so I got these joggers 
they are really cute they have this cute detail along the ankle that's kind of like ribbed and this was honestly the only pair of joggers i could find that were just like comfy cute pretty basic that were made out of 100 percent cotton so these are black um i really love the fit of them around the leg because they are super comfy they're from free people i got the size extra small um because i read i was in between an extra small and a small because i wanted my joggers to be comfy and a little bit oversized and i read that they ran a little bit big so i went ahead and got an extra small so i would say if you're in between two sizes like me go with your smaller size if you do um want to get these and i don't i think they're sold out of the black ones but they have a really beautiful purple color that i'm going to be getting um i think <laughs> at least and I will link those down below and maybe the black ones will come back in stock. Okay, moving on to a little bit cuter of items. The next thing I got was this adorable short um, floral print, uh, what is this, skirt. I never buy short things. So you'll notice this shopping round, I went ahead and got things that were that I've always wanted that I don't naturally go and purchase like a cute shirt and a shorter a short skirt which is a long skirt because my personality just always goes in a, and buys midi dresses or long skirts so this is literally the only summer short skirt that I it was very hard also to find a skirt that wasn't made out of polyester this one is 100% cotton I'm pretty sure so I'll just make sure I don't dry it because I feel like that will be it'll shrink if I do that. I got a size two in this skirt and it was $78, but I love like the flowiness of it and the fit of it. And I think it would just look really cute with like a ivory colored sweater um, or obviously some sort of like crop top shirt to go with it. But I think it's a really good transitional piece to go from spring to summer. This dress that I got is also from Free People. I guess this is a Free People clothing haul minus one item, but this i think is so affordable and a uh, freaking adorable for the price it's only 58 dollars. this doesn't really look like you can't really tell what it looks like off of the body so i'll just show me trying it on but it's a really cute short skirt or short dress it did get a little bit wrinkly because it is linen um but i love the little slit detail at the bottom i think it's not too short and I also really love the open back with the buttons. I think it's just like the perfect summer dress that you can wear with some sneakers. Or you can also dress it up with a pair of heels um, or wedges or something like that. Um, and I just think it's really cute. I love the color. And I think for $58 and having it be a good material, you really can't beat that price. I know it comes in like a blue, a purple, I think a purple um and i definitely want to get in another color because i just feel like this will be my go-to summer just like casual day dress now the last thing that i got is a item that is not from free people it is from a brand called between 10. um their intentions are really really well and great and i actually really love them as a brand they do still sell polyester but a lot of the fabrics that they use are dead stock fabrics so they're just fabrics that are going to go to waste so i really appreciate that and yeah i really just actually love them as a brand they are new to me i recently found them on instagram and i saw the shirt and i ordered it asap it's on sale it might be sold out if it's not i'll definitely link it below but it makes me so happy i think it's so cute and this is a linen cotton blend and it went um and it is made out of dead stock fabric it's really hard to find smock material like this that doesn't have polyester or elastic in it but this is literally so cute i love like the square neckline and then obviously it's like a peplum like this Oh, just look at how cute it is on it really is just the happiest perfect summer dress because you can wear this with jeans I think like with white jeans it, they'd be it'd be really cute um and also just with like a, I don't know really anything like shorts like I feel like this is another piece where you can dress it up or dress it down and it would be very cute last thing that I got for now I really want to get the vintage Reeboks and I just don't have I literally only have one pair of sandals and uh, no sneakers that aren't like workout shoes so i want to get 
a pair of cute like sandals that are good for every day or just like running errands and then also a pair of throw on sneakers that aren't workout shoes that can go cute with like a dress but the last thing i got for now is an accessory um it is this very cute headband i feel like headbands are definitely coming back in style i personally wouldn't have bought this for the full price at free people because it's like twenty dollars or twenty eight dollars at free people but i think how do i even put this freaking in i feel like i feel like like that i don't know i just think that this is very cute and obviously i just left my hair out and used it as an actual accessory but obviously you can do it with like your hair back let's see what that looks like but this on what I was saying though is I wouldn't buy it full sale because it was like 20 or 20 or like 28 dollars but it was only nine dollars on sale and I think it's still in stock they do have a full price though for sure in like a bunch of different colors so if you wanted you could get that I'm using the camera as a mirror obviously but actually it's not it's not too bad with all my hair back either I think it's very cute actually so i'm really happy i got this because it also it's like it feels like it's just resting on my head but it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off so i feel like i'm not gonna get a headache which is so good um so yeah that is the last of what i got um i do have some new makeup coming in the mail from the sephora sale and i definitely am going to do a beauty haul like just my trying new products and also maybe i'll share some of my favorite things if you guys want just comment below but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope that you are able to get some of the comfy things that i got or also just some of the cute things i always try to shop like i said sustainable and just do my research and just really hunt for hours i literally hunted for hours you guys evan thought i was ridiculous but really just like like free people is not a fast is not a slow fashion brand by any means but i think there are even slow fashion brands out there that still um use polyester and rayon so i just think you gotta do your research and just get good material um even though you don't necessarily want to support fast fashion brands i think like free people anthropology is much better than like forever 21 so i tried to get and show you guys just um as this the sustainable and affordable pieces that i got so if you guys do get anything definitely tag me on instagram or comment down below if you order anything um i know that times are weird but i also think a lot of people have adjusted and might be doing some online shopping so i love you all very much let's end this video on a good note because i feel like i haven't in a while so one minute actually i know my friend shared this um, quote on her Instagram and I really loved it. So it says, The business of things obscures our concentration on God. Never let a hurried lifestyle disturb the relationship of abiding in Him. This is an easy thing to allow, but we must guard against it. That's by Oswald Chambers. I am one for rereading and re listening to quotes. So if you guys need to re listen to that, just rewind 30 seconds and listen to it but i think that is a very beautiful quote and i actually think that it is a very good reminder in right now because like even though we're not as busy as we would be i think that well actually that's not true i think a lot of people are leaning on god right now but i do think that it's just a good reminder this whole quarantine is such a good reminder to really have god and be the center of everything that we do and to not let all of the busyness in our life and world distract us i think this during quarantine even for me like the beginning i was starting off doing so good journaling and now like i just am choosing to be more distracted for some reason and i don't know if that is relatable at all to you but i've kind of shifted a little bit and i just this is a really good reminder for me also to even during quarantine to just um, really concentrate on God in our relationship. So I hope that that was a happy way to end the video for you, but I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm so close to 200 subscribers and it seems ridiculous to me to be so excited about 200 subscribers, but I truly am. But I love you all and I will see you very soon. Bye!